Welcome back to the LNX Files. As always, this is a safe space for all things spooky. And today we're gonna use these tarot cards to do a week ahead read for all 12 signs of the zodiac for January 15th through the 21st. Is that right? Yes. Yes, that's right. Let's go. <laughs> Mr. Peach is not with us today. He is busy eating his food and he will be joining us when he's done. So this last week, I mean, I don't know how your week was, but you know, I can't help but pay attention to the cards that I get for my sun sign and my rising sign. And I definitely, I'm seeing it play out in the week ahead. Uh, we definitely had some janky stuff going on with like Venus in a weird spot with Saturn and Mars, and that's going to be ending in a few days or by tomorrow. Okay, let's go. So as always, watch the clip for your sun sign as well as your rising because from my own experience, the week ahead is a malay of the two, for better or for worse. Hopefully for better. Hopefully things are calming down this week. Okay, let's go. My Aries sun, my Aries rising signs. Okay, so you got the Hierophant in reverse. So the Hierophant, it's major arcana, and it represents institutions. So it can represent corporations, financial institutions, universities, religious institutions. It can also represent the institution of marriage. So if you have a big corporate job and you're watching this, or if you're in school at a big university, be on the lookout for things maybe being a little uh, chaotic at work or at school in the week ahead, or look ahead, look out for unexpected surprises happening in, revo in regards to institutions, like corporations, banking institutions, universities, etc. in the week ahead. If you're married and you're watching this, you know, just understand that with these things, there's an ebb and flow. So it's nothing to freak out about. It's just that I would just mentally prepare myself for knowing that things might not go according to plan in the week ahead, or things might be feeling a little destabilized, a little unexpected, or a little out of the ordinary in the week ahead. And that's okay, because like Aries folk, you guys are highly, highly adaptable. Uh, you're very quick and you're very responsive to changes. So I wouldn't worry about, I wouldn't worry about it for you guys as a sun sign or rising sign. Well, Mr. Peach was fussing off camera and he wants to join us. So he's going to be sitting behind me. Yeah. Okay. And then you're going to be a good juicy boy. Oh, I sure hope so. I sure hope so. Okay. And now my Taurus folk and my Taurus rising signs. Okay. So guys, you got the fool. So this is the very first card of the Rider White deck. You know, it is represented by a zero and it often represents the first step in the journey ahead. So someone stepping off the cliff and just having faith and optimism and hope that everything's going to be okay. So if there's a new endeavor that you're thinking about doing in the week ahead, this is your green light from the universe. So if you're thinking about, you know, texting that guy, submitting your resume, starting that Etsy store, you know, having coffee in a different neighborhood, trying the weirdo hike this week, this is the green light ahead from the universe. So this card classically represents taking chances and being okay change, risk, and it's it's a nice, you know, thumbs up from the universe. So if there's something on the back of your mind, there's some sort of nagging feeling, or if you already have plans in motion, keep going in motion. And now my Taurus folk, I know that you guys often don't like change, and if change does happen, you like it to happen very slowly, but we can't always control that. So I really like you to chew on this in the week ahead. What new things have you been thinking of doing, starting, or trying? And like, well, get going, you know, get going. We're almost in the middle, we're in the middle of the first month of the new year. So let's, uh, you know, anchors up guys. Okay, and now my, my Gemini folk and my Gemini rising sign. So you guys got the sun in reverse. So the sun upright is a classic card of like optimism, hope, cheer. Yay, we did it. It can often be a very celebratory card. Like the sun is shining and everything's right with the world. So usually when this card comes up in reverse, it can mean one of two things. So it can mean like lack of transparency, uh, like where things are murky, they're nebulous, you're not really sure what's happening. Or it can mean that, you know, it's not the celebratory, uh, congratulatory card. It can sometimes be a little bit of a letdown. 
Or it can mean like you're being faced with like a harsh truth where it's like, you know, things are crystal clear and you don't like them. So what I'd like to say about, you know, the, the upright meaning of the card is that, you know, sometimes reversals do mean the upright meaning of the card. Like, yay, we did it. It's celebratory. All is right with the world. But it's just happening slowly uh, or in secret. So that is an interpretation of this card that could be manifesting in the week ahead. Otherwise, it could mean things like lack of transparency, murkiness, uh, lack of cheer, meaning disappointment, or it could indicate the harsh truth, the harsh reality, you know, this sort of like transparency, clarity, subverted. So the good news is, Gemini, you guys have very, very sharp, agile minds. And I, I find that like the hardest representation of this card for you guys would be like the murkier meaning, because you guys are often like the bottom line. You know, you guys can roll with the punches, you're very agile, you can deal well with ambiguity and kind of like dance in the gray area but you do like to know what the what the is going on you you want clarity you're ruled by mercury so that's you know as we know the planet of communication so this might be a more challenging week but you also might enjoy it you know some of you guys because you guys like puzzles often you like figuring things out you like getting to the bottom of things i often find um deciphering things so so there might be an element of that in the week ahead and so i would just say my gemini folk you may find that you have to lean more heavily on the agility of your brains in the week ahead and that should be fine for you i i would imagine you might even like it in the week ahead so something to keep in mind okay and now my cancer folk and my cancer rising signs okay so we got the four of wands in reverse i feel like you guys have gotten this recently so it's so upright, this is the card of the, the happy home and things coming together in the domestic sphere or in a relationship. So we've got four wands now, so things are more stable. So, you know, as I always say, you can build a table, an ottoman, that thing over there with four wands. You have some, you have a greater amount of infrastructure. Well, look who just <coughs> ate all their juices. Mr. Peach, you ate all your juices. Okay, well, now that's that. So when this card comes up in reverse, it could mean things are destabilized at home or in your relationship, or it could just mean that there's change, you know? It could just mean, like, you know, things are different now. So to some of my cancers, I have a cancer friend who had a new baby. This definitely applies to her. Things are very different now in her house. Her sleep schedule is different. You know, she there's another person there that's requiring things from her body, so... That is a very extreme example of what this card can mean. Some of you might, you know, paint an accent wall a different color. So I would lean on your intuition in the week ahead. You guys are so intuitive. You're so in touch with just sort of like higher intelligence when you want to be. So you might want to take time to yourself, time to meditate, time to connect with nature in the week ahead. If you feel like you need guidance or you want to have like, uh, you know, a communication with divine intelligence in order to navigate a new situation at home or in your relationship, do it uh, because you guys will absolutely benefit from that. You guys will know how to use the data that you get. Okay, and now my Leo folk and my Leo rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the two of wands in reverse. So two of wands upright is typically out with the old, in with the new. So this wand is old and he's not gonna use it anymore. And so he decided to drill it into the side of the parapet. You know, just so that he knows where to find it if he ever needs it again, but also so that it doesn't come bouncing into the present and the future. And now he's got this new wand that he can, you know, go on adventures with and discover and etc. So, my Leo folk, what in your life do you need to swap out in the week ahead? That's something I would like you to contemplate. Like, does your friend group need an upgrade? Does your work life need an upgrade? Does your social media posting schedule need an upgrade? What the guides are suggesting is that there's room for improvement, there's room for leveling up in some area of your life, and you're probably aware of it. So this doesn't mean literally like, oh, it's time to get a new best friend and a whole new group of friends and a new haircut and all that stuff. But I, I get the feeling with my Leo folk, like you know where the upgrade the upgrades need to happen. And sometimes Leos, I find like you like to make big changes in a big, bold, grand statement. That's not always necessary. So you don't always have to make the, like this tectonic shift. Sometimes these big shifts should happen in small steps forward consistently. So that is something I would like you to think about in the week ahead. 
Okay, and now my Virgo folk and my Virgo rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the lovers. So the lovers card is a classic card of separation and distance. So it's the man, the woman, and the mountain between them, and the winged figure observing everything. So what in your life is there an obstacle or is there a sense of separation and distance? So this card classically comes up with romantic relationships, but it doesn't always have to. Do you have distance between coworkers or a family member or are you, do you have a rift with a friend? Like where in your life is separation and distance showing up or obstacles and what can you do to change that? But also, do you want to? So this card comes up in readings that I do for people who like are chasing a fuckboy or some, sometimes it comes up for women who feel like the side chick. And it's just kind of like, do, are, you a, are you able to move closer? Do you want to move closer? Do you have the power to move things closer? Do you want to have that power? Should this even be happening? Because like a lot of times the guides will highlight like, look, you're spending a lot of time on this relationship here where there's like distance and separation. And is this something you even want in your life? So that's something I'd like you to really pay attention to. Like, is this something that you even want in your life? So think about that. And if you decide yes, then what are the steps that you need to take to minimize the distance and the separation and the obstacle? So Virgos, you guys also ruled by Mercury, just like Gemini. You have very great, strong, agile minds. You have great powers of analysis. You can solve pretty much any problem. Okay. And now my Libra folk and my Libra rising signs. Okay, great. All right. So you, this is a card you want in reverse. So we got the eight of swords in reverse. So eight of swords upright, it, it can, it can symbolize feeling trapped or not knowing the way out of a problem or a situation. Um, this card comes up classically when I do readings for people when they're like in a bad relationship or they have like a controlling significant other. So for you Libra suns and Libra, Libra risings, when this card comes up in reverse, it's almost like the swords are, are falling away. The sense of captivity is falling away. The blindfolds coming off, the ropes are loosening. And there's a sense of like, oh, I know what to do. I know how to solve this. I know how to get out of there. So this may be like how you figure out how to escape your corporate job or how you decide to confront a toxic friend or how you decide to get out of that gym membership that you don't like so much. But it's, it's a good news if you, it, it's a good news. It's good news because essentially if you feel like there's an area of your life that's stifling you, that area is going to start receding. Like the, the binds, the binding chains of that area is going to start receding and you're going to have more room to make some moves, more freedom, more progress, more advancement. So I'm, I'm totally happy with that card. Okay. And now my Scorpio folk and my Scorpio rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the Three of Pentacles. So the Three of Pentacles is a classic card of teaching relationships. So when in the week ahead are you going to have the opportunity to learn from others? When are you going to be the teacher? When are you going to be the student? This is also a card that reminds us like it's not time in these situations to act with ego, even if you're the teacher or the student, regardless of who you are in the situation. Like you have things to learn from others. You have other things that you can learn from people. So in the week ahead, if you find yourself in this, you know, teaching student relationship, like regardless of who you are, just go with it. Just take opportunities to share what you've learned, either what you've learned through formal education, being self-taught or life experience and share it with others. If you're in a situation where like you're the one that has to take in a bunch of new knowledge, just do it without ego, ask questions and just know that like really wealthy and successful people, they never stop learning. They never stop growing. They understand that like it's the name of the game that you have to keep doing this throughout life and that that's the one thing that just never changes. So there's going to be some sort of focus of this nature in your life. It may show up in some way in the week ahead. And sometimes, you know, the guides are subtle, like you might get a flat tire and then like the mechanic shows you how to change your tire without a jack, you know, using a hairdryer and, you know, a stiletto heel or something like that. You, you just never know how these cards are going to show up is my point. Okay, and now my Sag folk, my Sag rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the Hermit card in reverse. So upright, the Hermit card is the card of heavy sp spiritual lifting. It's like building self-awareness, building a knowledge of like your own consciousness and like your true self and like doing the spiritual heavy lifting. 
So when everyone says, I'm going to the beach, the hermit says, not me, I'm going to go climb this mountain. And then when I get to the top, I'm going to lift my lamp and illuminate the valley below for everybody else so that people can benefit from my spiritual awareness. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's often when people don't have self-awareness. They haven't done a lot of work on like emotional or spiritual growth. And, you know, they just they haven't put any work or time into that. And it shows because they have a lack of like self-awareness or emotional maturity or spiritual enlightenment. So, so Sagittarius folks, the guides are kind of calling you out in that regard. And they're just kind of like, Sag, folks, it's, it's time to flex. It's time to like see some results here. Like what's going on? So this is something I want you to pay attention to in the week ahead, my Sag folks. So if you always do what you've always done, you'll always get what you've always gotten. And so the really, really successful people that I know who are like multi, multi millionaires, I don't think I know any billionaires. Maybe I do. If they're billionaires, they haven't told me. But with the people that I know, like they've hacked life in such a way that they understand that life is not just about doing things matter to matter, that there is like a spiritual vocabulary and like muscle that you have to have to interact with the greater universe at, at, at large in order to have, you know, more of what you want in life, more of what you want to see happen in life. So something to keep in mind. Okay, and now my Capricorn folk and my Capricorn rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. So a nice earthy card for my earthy Capricorns, but I really do wish this card may have come, would have come up upright, but we don't always get what we want. So upright, this is the self-made queen. So she's worked hard, she's played hard, she's stable, she's financially abundant, and she's in touch with reality. So when this card comes up in reverse, it's she's destabilized, she's not financially ab abundant, or she's having obstacles or strain with finances, and there's a sense of like being out of touch with reality, or reality rapidly changing by, under her feet. So you may just find yourself in hiccups in the week ahead where like you're challenged, there are obstacles, things may not necessarily be going along in life. Things may not be manifesting in the week ahead in the exact way that you want them to. You may have a, a sudden financial expense. This could represent someone in your life. This could represent, you know, a person of power in your life who identifies as female, like a boss, a professor, a teacher, um, a, a colleague that you associate with, someone who interacts with you with pay and money, and there may be some sort of like destabilizing or surprising effect in the week ahead. But the good news is, my Capricorn folks, is like you are one of the most capable signs of the Zodiac. Like you guys can pretty much handle every situation as long as you don't get too stubborn or too bossy, right? So like, all right, like something in the week ahead, there may be obstacles, there may be static, it may happen, stuff may be happening slowly. People that you rely, rely on may be showing up in a more destabilized or weirder way. Whatever, you guys can handle it. Just lean on your superpowers of like being direct and being very practical and in touch with reality. You'll be fine, my Capricorn folk. Okay, and now my Aquarius folk, my Aquarius rising signs. Okay, so you guys got the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So the Ten of Pentacles, it's, you know, the card of generational wealth. You know, the card of like money's good, home life is good, we're passing on money to the heirs. And it's all because of this ancestor who started it. So when this card comes up in reverse, it can just mean changes, surprises, or destabilization with wealth, how you make your money, or like your domestic sphere, or all three. So it, it could be surprises, it could be challenges, it could be just general static or just things having hiccups and not flowing with the abundance that you would like it to. The good news is that this is a really great card, you know, it's just, it's a really great card, it's showing up, it could just mean that all the, the positive aspects of this card, wealth, abundance, financial stability, legacy, are happening slowly and in secret for you, maybe just unraveling very slowly in the background. If that's happening, that's okay. And the good thing is that, like, I feel like a, a lot of Aquarians don't really go to war with, like, what is in your life. So, like, you guys are pretty take-it-on-the-chin people, and I feel like you're very good at, you know, coming up with a plan for the future, you know, finding a unique problem solving because you guys are so visionary so in the week ahead if you know things aren't unfolding as quickly as they can you know what can you do to get out of your comfort zone what would help facilitate things to keep them moving along faster 
And what are you not comfortable doing? What are you afraid of doing? What, is, what are you reluctant to do? I would take a look at those options as well if you want to sort of speed things along. Okay, and now my Pisces folk and my Pisces rising signs. Okay, so Pisces folk, you guys got the five of wands upright. So this is classically a card of... I like to say gentle chaos. So as I always say, they're not beating each other with their wands. It's just they lack a vision, they lack a plan, and they lack a leader. So sometimes this card comes up to represent gossip or drama with coworkers or people you go to school with. Sometimes this card just represents like drama or like gossip or things coming out into the open finally after a period of them being hidden. Uh, the good news is, Pisces folk, like, you guys have such a strong intuitional, <laughs> intuitive navigation system that, like, if you're being faced with drama, you guys can often sort of swim around it, so, and I've seen a lot of Pisces people typically just be very unbothered by drama. I feel like, you, you, as the fish, sometimes you guys can be just like, oh, that's not important, let's swim around it, swim through it, and you're intuitive your intuitive navigational system is so strong you typically know when people are lying to you uh you know when they're telling the truth and oftentimes you guys can have this really creepy uncanny sense of what's going to happen so in the week ahead if you're in the middle of some drama or some gossip where like the truth comes out but it's like subverted or it's not the whole truth or things are being omitted lean in on that internal navigation system to see you through it and i guarantee you'll be able to do it Okay, guys, so that's what I got for you. Comment below. How are these readings panning out for you? Do you have any questions about the symbology of the cards, the interpretation of the cards? Put it in the comments. So like and subscribe, and as always, we'll do this again.